This old town has changed somewhat since Phil Lynn at last graced its streets, but tonight the boy is back in town, and this time he's here to stay. Hundreds turned out on Dublin's Grafton Street to witness the unveiling of a statue to commemorate one of Dublin's favourite lost sons. The statue was sculpted by the artist Paul Daly. It was commissioned and paid for by the Roisin Dove Trust, which was set up to celebrate the life and works of Phil Linnet after his premature death in 1986. It's almost impossible to describe um, the emotion and, uh, and the proudest woman in the land. That's all I can tell you. Phil Linnett was born in Birmingham but grew up in Crumlin. It was there that he formed what's regarded as Ireland's first successful rock group, Tim Lizzy, in the early 70s. Some former fellow rockers from that era were in town for tonight's unveiling. It's beautiful, yeah. you know, it, it captures the intrinsic essence. Like you've heard a balance bit and you've heard a ballet moan, this statue was moving before we even got here. I'm sure he would have been pretty proud, but I mean, if, I don't know, it depends what he would have thought of the likeness, he might have thought it was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow night, a tribute concert will be held in the Point Theatre on what would have been Phil's 56th birthday. It's expected to be the biggest gathering of former Thin Lizzy members since the band broke up in 1983. Brian Finn, RTE News, Harry Street in Dublin.